and joining us here in the studio to talk a little more about the promise and potential dangers of gene therapy is Wolfgang Uckert. He is the president of the German Society for Gene Therapy. Thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, now, the idea of gene therapy has been around for decades, but um, it's only, only seen limited success. Why is that? Yeah, I think one of the, the problems was the, the, the transfer vector that is used to bring a new gene into a cell. So these vectors at the beginning, we are not really safe. Mm -hmm. All right, what is the risk then associated with that? Uh, the risk is that they integrate in our genome at the wrong place and then we have side effects and the side effects can be other diseases like leukemia, for instance. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is, that's a pretty heavy side effect. Um, what, is the, what can be done to minimize the risks or the side effects? Yeah, this uh, has already started years ago to improve the vectors. Now we have a new generation of vectors that are really safe because they can integrate in a, in a certain point of the genome at, at specific sequences. And we have safety modules that are included in the vector and in the gene modified cells. And we simply can switch off the vector and can eliminate the cell. All right, is this leading to greater approval then of gene therapy? Yeah, I think this will, uh, that improves gene therapy very much. Mm -hmm. All right, um, let's talk about some of the ethical issues surrounding gene therapy. What are they? Yeah, the ethical issues are that I think one has to select very well the disease which one wants to treat mm -hmm. uh, because this is a three component system. You have to manipulate a cell, you have a gene that you have to transport into the cell and you have to, to make a vector choice uh, and this has to be well designed. All right, well, having said that then, um, where does gene therapy look the most promising in curing which diseases specifically? So we have seen this here, these are monogenetic diseases, meaning that only one gene has to be corrected. This is uh, relatively simple, I would say. It's more challenging if we go to cancer, mm -hmm. because cancer is a multifactorial disease and there are many, many genes are, genes are included and we have to correct uh, each individual uh, effect or each individual gene. Okay, now um, we asked for some commentary on our Facebook page and Alaku Alambugu says he thinks that gene therapy is okay as long as it can be used for therapeutic purposes and nothing else. But could gene therapy technically be used to enhance certain features like our looks or our intelligence? Yeah, I mean, there is a little danger because we have increasing knowledge, growing knowledge, uh, how things are organized in our body, what are the sequences, and one cannot completely exclude that that can happen. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, back to the ethical issue, you know, that is a definite question there. And finally, what does the future for gene therapy look like? Uh, I'm quite optimistic. I think that in a decade or in two that uh, many people diseases will be cured by gene therapy. Mm -hmm. So it's a very positive outlook that you're giving us. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, we thank you very much for this discussion today. Wolfgang Okat.